Hello and welcome to Daily Code Buffer. Today we are going to see how to create a Spring Boot project with Spring Initializer and open it in an IntelliJ IDEA. So let's get started. First of all, go to Chrome browser and go to start.spring.io. So this is the Spring Initializer platform, you can see. From this Spring Initializer page, you need to select all the project dependencies and all the project details you need to define. So let's see what all the things are there. So project, which project do you want, a Maven project or a Gradle project? Accordingly you select. We are going with a Maven project, so we are selecting a Maven project. Language you can choose Java, Kotlin or Groovy. Uh, today we are going with the Java, so I'm selecting Java. You can select anyone, Kotlin or Groovy. We'll go with Java. And the Spring Boot version. Uh, so which Spring Boot version you are going to use? We are having a bunch of different versions. So we are going with the most stable version that is 2.2.2. Yeah. Now project metadata. So this project metadata are based off uh, Maven. So here we need to define what all the groups, artifacts and all the other informations. So here, let's give us a group name is daily code buffer. Okay, demo. Now demo. What is, what is the artifact? So we are using Spring Initializer demo. Okay. Now if you expand the options tab, you will get more informations like what is the name of your project, the description of your project what would be your package name your packaging type uh, do you want a jar type or a war type so based on a, uh, so based on that you can select and your java version in my system java 11 is installed so i'll be selecting java version 11 so these are the things you can uh, select from this page and if you go on the bottom yeah so here you need to add the dependencies which you need in your project so you can search from here example uh, i want a web dependency so it will come okay spring web i want spring web so i'll add spring web i also want due tools dependency so i'll search for due tools as well uh, let's add one more let's add actuator yeah so you can select many dependencies from here like if you want database and you can search for h2 dependencies so it's an inbuilt in-memory database you can also search for uh, gpa dependencies so all the dependencies you can add from here if some of the dependencies are not available here you can also add those dependencies later when you are working on a project into the pom.xml file so there is a flexibility over there as well now there are a bunch of other features as well like there is a dark there is a light mode and a dark mode if you are into that but the main if you see there is an explore option and a generate option so generate option will generate a template project for you and you can open it in a intel in any of the id so we will be using intellij id so i will show you an intellij idea uh, and the explore button this explore button will show you the structure here itself when you click on explore button see this is showing you the structure here as well so you can see the pom.xml file over here see uh, the pom.xml file all the details over here which we added in the page for java version the dependencies which we added actuator web and all the div tools and all okay if you go to project structure here project structure is defined what all the files will be here okay here you can download the zip file from here as well so this is the thing now when you click on generate the project will be downloaded now we can open this project in IntelliJ idea let's get this project over here extract it now let's open IntelliJ idea So I'm using IntelliJ IDEA Community Edition. So this is free. I'll uh, post a link for it in the description below. So you can check it out. So go to File, 
open project go to c drive users desktop and this is our project okay open it this window so you can see my project is open here and it's syncing all the maven dependencies over here if you can see this is our project spring initializer demo this is our pom.xml file here are all the which we see in the browser the same things are here and this is our project structure okay so this is very easy way to create a spring project from the spring initializer platform there are many different ways to create a spring boot project uh, we find this as an easiest way to start up with your project and uh, to mainly focus on the coding part so this is a very good tool to get started there is a extra feature from intellij idea also from there you can create a spring boot project within the application it's, uh, itself so for that we have created a video and for that uh, video i'll be posting a link in the description below so you can check that out uh, if you run this application it will be directly runnable as you can see yeah my application is started yeah in port 8080 so uh, this is a very easy way to start up with the application you can uh, explore more on this thank you guys for watching this video please subscribe to our channel please like this video comment if possible and we'll see you in the next video thank you